Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is being shot on my ZTE Axon 7 cell phone uh, as part of my experiments of shooting video on a cell phone that are up uploadable to YouTube that are worthwhile. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a, a video, a short video about painting grout, and um, this grout has previously been uh, painted before in a one quart can like that uh, bear paint over there, uh, but I was using a um, uh, kills. I use kills too. Kills is a stain hider, sealer kind of thing. But over here where we have foot traffic and dust and uh, kitty litter floating through the air, uh, kind of settles down, we get um, a dirty spots or what look like dirty spots. They're really not dirty. The floor is clean. It's just discolored. Um, and that happens over time because that's where our foot traffic is. We have a, a cupboard here that we go into for office supplies and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you another floor. As a matter of fact, let's go look at that now. Here's the kitchen area, and you can see where we've done it and where we haven't. And uh, this area here has not been repainted yet, uh, but this area has. And it's nice, bright white, and the, top, the grout looks it's really good. You know, I don't know if it looks good on the video, but it looks really good to our eye. And this is into the, the great room. I'm going over the lines on purpose. Because the grout, the uh, paint doesn't stick to the tile, but it does stick to the grout. It's not hard to do. It's very quick and easy to do. It's a semi-gloss paint. It just happens to be bare, premium plus. But any semi-gloss paint should work. Latex it has to be a latex. Enamel does not mean oil. It just means it dries hard. This is absolutely a latex paint. It's based with water, and it cleans up with water. And this is the low angle shot of me uh, painting this stuff. It's it's a pretty easy. Uh, things just go back and forth to make sure that I fill in all any little crevices or anything that we see and um, I don't you don't have to be neat doing this uh, because you have to you do have to make sure that your tile is not porous and you have to make sure that um, that you uh, can get the paint off your tile if you get any on there so if you have a spare tile somewhere you may want to uh, experiment with splashing some paint on it to make sure that you can peel it off uh, down the road there. Uh, so, you know, let it dry. And I actually experimented with this particular tile. It's been here for a couple of years now. And what I did is I painted, over painted. I did two things. There's some grout that I never painted uh, in a closet or something here and there. And then there's uh, stuff that I painted t on the tile and I left it there for a very long time. And it basically, <laughs> with uh, sweeping, va vacuuming, and uh, mopping the floor. Most of that's really just come up on its own. And then it's just a simple scraper uh, removes the paint. Uh, and now the scraper, you don't really want to take a paint scraper and start, or, or a putty knife or anything and start scraping on your tile floor. But there's a, a tool that you can get probably for free. Um, they used to be for free all the time anyway. And it's basically a wooden paint stick, the paint stirring stick. Um, that you use to mix up your paint with. That wooden uh, edge is just an excellent scraper. The, another thing that works very well is a, um, if you do any, uh, what is it? If you do any caulking, they have these little uh, plastic caulking tools that help you make a good uh, caulk line. Uh, most professional uh, painters and everything that do caulking uh, wouldn't use one of those anyway because it takes time to use that kind of thing. You just uh, caulk, caulk and use your finger at a rag. But the, um, that little tool, it's a little, you know, sometimes they're triangular, sometimes they're square, and they have uh, little edges on them. And, and I imagine they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, but it has to be like a plastic thing. And that doesn't do any damage to your tile floor, and it also gets this paint up very quickly. As a matter of fact, this paint here, you know, just come right up, this little spot I just made. And it just balls up like that, and you just sweep it up with a dust broom, and off you go. So, that's all there is to, really, it doesn't take very long to do this, to do, actually my whole house doesn't take, I can do it in a single day, you know, but what we do is we just take our time, and, uh, you know, when we got some time that we want to relax or chill out or whatever, kind of get our mind off of all the other projects we're working on or whatever, then we can go ahead and just do some of these, do some of these lines, and leave the overpaint on there, you know, until it's all dry. And then we come back with our little our little scraper and just and just scrape it off. And we use it uh, as kind of just a way to relax, just like kind of a hobby or something like that. We don't watch a lot of TV, and I'll make another video about that in the near future. It's a video I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and that's cutting the cable. So with that, until I see you in the next video.
or not, take care and be well.